local gym has chosen the nonprofit Avenues for Youth to be the recipient of its community giving program. Joining us now, Hannah Y. Devon for the founder of Solcana Fitness and Catherine Mears from Avenues for Youth. Great to have you both with us today. Mm -hmm. Hannah, let's start with you. Tell us about Solcana Fitness. Uh, so we're a gym in the Seward neighborhood of Minneapolis and we opened up in 2014. And I opened this space because I was looking to build a gym for people who didn't feel like they fit in mm -hmm. in other gym mm -hmm. communities. Mm -hmm. And so we're a body positive gym, we're queer friendly, we try to make our workouts and our programs fit for every type of body that you could possibly experience and try to make our community as friendly as possible. Mm -hmm. And you obviously have a program where you try and help folks in the community. That's so right. You chose youth, uh, Avenue for, Avenues for Youth. Catherine, tell us a little bit about Avenues for Youth. So Avenues for Youth has been around for over 25 years and every year we support more than 300 young folks who are experiencing homelessness. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we By have, young, what age are we talking about? Uh, 16 through 24. Okay. We have a variety of programs depending on what youth need, um, but all youth have access to nursing services, on-site mental health supports. We have an education and career specialist that helps young people find jobs and think about what they want to do with their life. And really what we're trying to do is partner with young people to achieve their dreams. Mm -hmm. So Hannah, how does the community giving program work? So right now we're doing something called Refer a Friend, where if, if one of our members refers someone to come into the gym, at 11 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. They can come try a class for free and we'll donate $5 for every person that comes mm -hmm. to Avenues. And then anyone who signs up for a membership, we donate $50 in addition. Oh, wow. And right now we're also doing little pieces here and there within the gym to just add to that. So we did a member survey and each person who filled it out, we're adding another dollar into the pot. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not just people who are friends of members who can come, anyone from the community can come try us out at 11 a.m. on Saturdays or Sundays and We'll donate five dollars. Tell us a little bit about why you chose Avenues for Youth and how it fits in with your mission. Well, one of the, uh, our tagline is the power to change, the strength to do it. And our goal is to help empower our athletes to be change makers in the world. And I feel like that's something that Avenues is doing, is empowering younger people to have control over their lives and be able to do the things they want to do to impact the world later on. So they've always been a really good fit for us um, for any kind of community giving that we do. Catherine, how much does this sort of thing make a difference to Avenues for you? It makes an incredible difference. It makes an incredible difference. The only reason that Avenues is able to exist and support young people the way we do is because of great community partners like Solcana and other members of the community who provide so much support to us year after year. What are we seeing there on screen right now? We saw a home, we saw a bed. Oh yeah, so you're seeing, um, you're seeing some of the bedrooms in in our Brooklyn Park shelter. Mm -hmm. um, in Brooklyn Park, we have space for 12 young people every night. Um, each of them gets their own bedroom and three meals a day, and they have a case manager who supports them and get access to all of our services. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't understand that that group of uh, children, really, I mean, young adults, that age group, a lot of it has to do with inclusion, sort of this idea that have felt, that have felt left out. They're getting kicked out of their homes right, for exactly. various reasons. Yeah. And that's right. part of what yeah. your your gym is trying to encourage is this idea of inclusion. Yeah, and we we also offer scholarships to people who can't afford memberships. So for us to be able to partner with an organization where we might have youth in the future who want to be members with us and we can provide those scholarships for free, we're that's looking cool. to build that whole cycle. Catherine and Hannah, thank you. Thank WCCO.com you. Thank slash you. links has more information on Sulcana Fitness and this Refer a Friend fundraiser for Avenues for Youth.